Hi, welcome. Today I want to show how to crochet these little slippers or booties. I make them tall up here so I can fold them. They are very, very comfortable to wear and they are so cute and they are very, very easy to do. I will show you every step of the way from the beginning to the end right here. And if you're a beginner, you can follow this tutorial. I will show you very slowly how to do every part of it. I will say they are pretty slippery because you are using this burnet yarn and it's very soft, but they are so slippery. So I'm using this uh, sock stop, it's called. Um, I actually have something right here to show you. It's called strømpe stop in Danish. You can see this sock stop. Um, you just add this uh, rubber thing uh, underneath these uh, slippers and then you get this rubber um, yeah surface so they aren't so slippery you can see you can do it in all kinds of colors and you can also write a name underneath with this you don't have to use it in dots I use it a lot also for my kids socks I think they are so expensive if you buy it with it already Ready on. So yeah, let me show you how to do this. I will leave a link in the description for this sock stop if you want it. So now crocheting this. And for the materials, I've used this uh, Bernat yarn. I've used 150 grams of it and it is super bulky. I will leave a link in the description for where you can find it. Then I've used some scissors, a tapestry needle and then a six millimeter crochet hook. So we begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we make two chains. So yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. So you have two chains. This one and this one. Now we'll make eight single crochet in this first chain. So insert your hook in the first chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Now you insert your hook through the same chain and do your second single crochet. And then insert your hook through the same chain and do another single crochet. So that's three. Again, through the same chain, another single crochet, that's four. So you see, we are working in the round. So that's four, five in the same chain, right here in the middle, six, seven and the last one eight now you can count your stitches and make sure you got eight and now you see this one as your first stitch now you'll make a single crochet into this first stitch so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two now you insert your hook in the same stitch where you just did the single crochet and do another single crochet. So two single crochet in this first stitch. In this next stitch, also two single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook and do two single crochet in the same stitch. And the next one two single crochet in the same stitch. So you continue all the way around two stitches in each stitch. You started with eight single crochet. When you're done you should have 16 single crochet because you're doing two single crochet in each stitch. We are not switching rows, we are just continuing working in a spiral so it's pretty hard to see when you began 
this uh, row two. So you just stop when you have 16 single crochet around. When we have 16 shit stitches, <laughs> when we have 16 stitches, we are done with row number two. Now we'll begin the next part of this slipper. In the next stitch, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch. And then in this next one, we will only do one single crochet. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in the next stitch. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. You see the pattern? Next, one single crochet, then two single crochet, then one single crochet, then two single crochet. Continue working with one single crochet, two single crochet until you have 27 stitches in total. So now you just work in spirals with one single crochet, two single crochet, and so on until you have 27 stitches in your round. When you have 27 stitches, we now have the foot of the slipper. So now you just do one single crochet in every stitch. So you just continue working in rounds with one single crochet in every stitch. You continue until you have 18 rounds. So one single crochet in every stitch for 18 rounds. Counting this one as your first one, this one as your second, this one as your third, and now fourth. Count 18 and you will begin working up the foot. So one single crochet in every stitch for 18 rows until you have 18 rows. And then it looks like this. Then you chain one and turn because now we'll work back and forth instead of in rounds. So back and forth. So you chained one, skip this first one you chained and move on to the second one. Insert your hook, do a single crochet and in the next one a single crochet and you will be working in single crochet for the next 18 stitches. So do 18 stitches this way. So chain one and then move 18 single crochet this way. And then you chain one and turn again. Skip this first one, do a single crochet in the next one and work one single crochet all the way across for 18 stitches. So now you'll be working back and forth. Remember chain one every time you turn and work back and forth for 10 rows. This is number one, this is number two for 10 rows in total. When you have your 10 rows, you chain one Turn your work and begin working your 11th row the same way. Skip the first, move on to the second and work only 9 stitches. So that's 1, 2, 9 and then we want to fold the slipper you know like making it into a slipper like form but I want to do it on the back side so you know this is the inside because I turned it so I want to work on the inside so I turn it this way instead of the right way I turn it the other way so I fold it 
and then we want to work a row down this back end of the foot so I take the hook and push through both layers then grab the yarn and pull through all stitches so I'm making a slip stitch all the way through all the way to the bottom so just push your hook through grab the yarn pull through everything so I'm just slip stitching all the way across at the end of the foot Just make sure it's even all the way down. So you have nine slip stitches all the way to the bottom. And my final stitch. Whoops. Yep. And then we can fold it back out. So we now have connected the uh, the ends on the back side of the slipper booty. So now we want to work up this end. So we just continue. Sorry. So we just want to work single crochet in rounds from here on. So you just, you are at the heel right now, insert your hook in the next stitch on top, do a single crochet, and then a single crochet in this um, beginning of the row. And then a single crochet in between one of these two bumps. And then a single crochet. So you just work in single crochet all around this edge of the foot. And making a very nice edge. When I'm all the way around and back where I started, I am doing a single crochet in the first one and just moving along to the next one. So I'm just working in spirals. I will not be finishing each row and beginning a new, I will just be working in spirals. So now I'll just keep moving in rounds until I have moved uh, enough up the angle when I'm satisfied and it's tall enough to just work in rounds, one single crochet around and around, just until you're satisfied with the height. I have done 14 rounds up here and let me show you how this measures, 13 centimeters from the bottom part. Uh, to finish it up on the back side I do a slip stitch in the next stitch oh, sorry <laughs> and then a slip stitch again in the next one just to even it out a little bit I don't think it's noticeable then I cut the yarn and pull the hook through and then I weave in my end so just get your tapestry needle I have this huge needle somewhere but I'm always losing my stuff so I don't know where it is I uh, see if I can do it with this one probably can So just weave in your end and I just fold it and do it on the inside. It doesn't matter. It is really not noticeable in this yarn. Then 
That's it. And you have your little booty or slipper. I always use them like this. I fold them because I like it. I like the, the look of it. But you can, of course, also wear it like this. Just a little more height up on the ankle. But that's it. Just make another one and then you have a little pair. I have done mine already. So that's it. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!